you know, help you weed out some of the the suckers who are broke, busted, and disgusted, okay? <laughs> hey, welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Charisse, and I wanted to share with you some of my dating strategies for 2023. I think it'll be helpful for you to know I'm 34 years old. I live in Atlanta, and I have a 17-year-old, 16-year-old. Wow, I'm giving him ears. I have a 16-year-old. I have a big 16-year-old boy. Uh, and dating here has been quite unique. I have another video or two about dating in Atlanta. This is 2023. Most of the men I meet in Atlanta, I met online. Uh, I, I do get approached by men in real life almost every time that I go out. Much more before the pandemic because, you know, everything slowed down. You had the masks, all that stuff. Post-pandemic, I would probably say it's like 70% of the time that I go out. I'm approached by some man somewhere. Okay, girl? Most of these men are not online and in person. Most of these men are not fit to be anyone's husband or father, um, according to my standards, right? And if you look at other videos on my channel, you'll get an idea of some of my standards. And so it's, it's just, most people don't get my number. How about that? Uh, most men in, in real life, the one, most of the ones that approach in real life are not worth much of anything they approach everybody right the man who has the confidence to approach me probably approaching all kind of women but there are some decent guys who approach in real life and at that point for me it, whether i meet in person or online and then meet in person there's some things that need to be there for me right so first of all what the conversation is like is really important i want to know how smart you are I want to know if you're interesting. If you're intriguing, you will get a first date out of me. Intriguing and I'm attracted to you based on what I can see, right? You'll probably get a first date out of me. Most people I don't find intriguing. Most people fit very neatly into boxes and I'm not a person that can be boxed in. I don't want to partner with somebody that is cookie cutter or thinks like everyone else or doesn't think for himself. Um, it's very important to me that the man I partner with is very spiritual led by god and so i'm checking to see like what that energy is like what is the chemistry like are you talking about god are you talking about vision are you talking about goals at the same time it's also super important for you to be asking questions about me so are you showing interest are you being consistent right this is before we get to the first date this is initial meeting in person what kind of questions are you asking me right are you making comments about my skirt length or my body um, are you just telling me I'm beautiful and then giving me the Google eyes? If we're online meeting, are you asking me questions just about my work? Or are you asking me questions um, based on stuff you've heard on social media? Because if you're one of those guys on social media that does this um, table, bring to the table thing, right? I've only had one guy ask me that. But there's an energy that comes with that guy who has not much to offer. I don't have time for it. So I need to be interested, intrigued, and somewhat attracted uh, because in person, the energy is really what's necessary for me to say yes to a second date. And I rarely say yes to a second date. So let's say we get to the point where I'm like, mm, I think this would be a good idea for you know me to go on a date with this person. The next thing that's necessary to get to the date is his planning. You know, it's, I think it's kind, maybe thoughtful to ask what I like to eat, um, but I don't, I don't, you can't ask me where we going. You can't ask me where we going. So if he asks me where I'm going, it's already not going to be a date. I'm just, I'm just saying if at this early stage, you don't know how to plan a date. I have no business going on a date with you. Right? So I'm looking for planned right in advance, at least a day in advance. Right? I'm not doing same day dates. I hear about ladies doing same day dates. You should see me later. Who, who are you to be? I have a life, sir. I have things to be doing. You're, you're going to be put into my schedule somewhere. So I need, I need at least a day notice to let you know if I can do it or not. So it needs to be planned in advance. The sun has to be out. Um, it has to be in public. I used to do, right? So prior to 2020. Two, maybe I used to really, really do um, coffee days. I don't drink coffee, but I would want to go to a tea shop because I just I don't like a lot of people. I don't like a lot of people. Um, so it would be a lot of first dates. 
Uh, I, yeah, and so this is my first date outfit. This is a dress. I wear this on all my first dates. I wear this on all my first dates. Um, very rarely is someone um, so, they stand out so much that I would want to wear something different. I usually only do like my um, eyebrows and put on some lip gloss. I'm not a makeup girly. I'm wearing makeup today because the, the camera is the camera is different. Um, and sometimes I like coming on here with a little juice. Uh, but in real life, on a first date, I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm wearing this dress. We're meeting somewhere in public. I've decided, right, that I have to really, really be interested in going on a date with you. Um, so that kind of eliminates the not being sure I'm going to waste your time kind of thing, waste your money kind of thing. If I went on a date with you, I think it's going to go well. I'm hoping that it goes well. So whatever he picks, I'm going to say yes to. Like, what, what might he pick that I wouldn't say yes to? Men usually like to, men who are really interested in getting to know a woman. So, right, a man who's really interested in getting to know me wants to take me out to dinner, wants to um, prolong the date, right, wants to do something fun. So whatever it is, as long as we can talk, right, I'm, I'm down for whatever the date is. So now that he's got me out of the house and dressed up in my first date outfit, I really tell guys that this is what I wear to every day, okay? It's, men like to feel special. But now that I'm out of the house and on the date, right, I'm on time. <laughs> I'm a very timely person, but I'm on time. I'm expecting that he's going to be on time. If he's not on time, I'm expecting um, some communication around it. Uh, I am not afraid, I don't know if afraid is the word, I'm not afraid of last minute changes. Um, to me, it's just data, right? Dating is about data. The, if you cannot plan a date, that's one thing. But if you have to change the location or the time last minute, you provide me with an explanation. I decide if it makes sense or not, if it fits into second date, probable second date, very unlikely. Um, and then we go from there. So once we're on the date, and I'm in my, you know, my, they're not, they're not heels. I'll put a picture. I'm in my, you know, I like to be, you know, a little elevated. Um, the, we talk, right? We talk, we talk. I ask questions. I'm asking a lot of questions and I'm looking in his eyes, right? To get the energy, um, to see if he's lying. Cause you know, the mask is out for a lot of people. Um, in person, it's very hard for someone's mask to not be perceptible by me uh, but anything is possible so I ask very direct questions about what people are looking for I make it very clear that I'm dating for marriage I'm not saying you my husband but um, my husband is looking for me and I'm just waiting for our alignment uh, I do all that communication I'm really assessing you know what what are his um, long-term goals a year five years from now what's his living situation if he has kids uh, what's his relationship with them like? Um, how much does he work, right? Some of that can be assessed in like the week because if I meet a guy online, we have to go on a date in like a week, week and a half at most. Otherwise, you'll never hear from me again. I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, so I'm just trying to see what the, what the balance is like in his life, what the boundaries are like, and get, getting that first bit of information about how he talks about himself, how he um, engages with me, what kind of questions he asks me, how he treats, you know, the people, strangers around him that maybe can do something for him, cannot do something for him. It's all really, really good information. But the number one thing that stands out to me is what is the energy like? Is it light? Um, does it make me feel fun? Does it make me feel at ease, safe, comfortable? Is he doing gentlemanly things like opening doors? Um, is he making any comments about pay or, you know, we're just checking to see what the vibe is like. The vibes have to be very high. Uh, regardless of how high the vibes are, the date ends around three or four hours. I have had, um, I had a date last, well, I told y'all about the guy who helped me through my emotional breakdown, right? Video in the description box. Um, we had met at a coffee shop. I was kind of insistent last, last year. And then he wanted to buy me, he wanted to buy me something, right? He, he wanted to invest and, and show and express and extend the date, right? How much he was really enjoying my company. So he wanted to buy me um, a plant. So he bought me a plant. Uh, that was fun. Th that second location was close and took like 30, 40 minutes, right? So it's not like I'm spending another three hours extending a, a six hour date. Yes, I've had a six hour date before. 
no, in 2023, I would never do that again. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Um, I also don't kiss on first dates. I have always had this as a rule. I, I don't know. I don't know what y'all be doing. <laughs> I've heard stories. So if I'm not kissing on first dates, I'm definitely not having sex on first dates. I hear y'all be having sex on first dates, right? And I'm thinking, if I were to have sex on a first date, it must mean that the, the vibes are so immaculate, the energy is so magical, that I know for sure I got a vision from God that this is my husband. It's like a once in a lifetime thing. That's never happened to me. Once in a, come on. I've had some strong connections, but no. Even if, I'm just like, why we can't wait? <laughs> We will never get this moment of not being sexual with each other. Why not savor it and enjoy? What's the rush? I don't get what the rush is. So I don't, I don't kiss on first dates because we could wait until the second date or the third date for a kiss. Um, I also, I don't know. I, I'm not sure I've ever used it as a strategy to weed out guys. Um, but if a guy pressures me for sex on a first date, he's never seeing me again. And I think guys can gauge that from me because nobody, no, one person has pressured me into having sex, um, not pressured me into having sex. <laughs> I didn't have sex. Well, one person was, you know, kind of really suggestive and all of that stuff. Um, he was very sweet and I don't know, I say pressure and then sweet. It was, it was suggestive, right? It wasn't like he was making me uncomfortable. I didn't feel uncomfortable. It was a really great date. This is years ago. It was a really great date. Um, and it, I think it would make sense for it to end with sex to the person who engaged in that sort of behavior but for me sex on a first date doesn't make sense doesn't resonate with me i don't see why we can't wait i also feel the same way about kissing on a first date i'm not kissing you on a first date even if i really really want to i don't see why we have to do it today like i could see you in a couple days we can kiss then there's no rush but i don't mind if the vibes are saying there's sexual attraction i think it's really important for there to be sexual attraction i'm not going on a second date with a man that i can't see myself kissing or having sex with because then i'm just like what's the point right what's the point so it's necessary to walk me to my car i'm not sure i've ever gone on a second date with a man who's never walked like you didn't want me to my car that's weird like that's weird you didn't open my door that's weird that's weird I, I really enjoy gentlemen and I think they really enjoy me. Um, so all those really kind, um, chivalrous things are well appreciated by me. I think it's also a really good sign if he is planning the second date while we're on the first date, making statements about really looking forward to seeing me again. Again, in the past, like this has happened all the time. I just tell, I usually tell them um, or hint at, you wait. <laughs> But see, I don't say it like that, I promise you. But you, this, there's no, sorry. Um, but you know, true love is rare and it takes time to find the person who fits with you, aligns with you. So it's, it's a beautiful thing though when you're able to have really nice dates. I think it's in your best interest that you have fun on these dates and you go out with people that you think you will enjoy and you anticipate having a really good time with. That's the only way I do dates in 2023. If I don't think I'm gonna have fun, if I don't think I'm gonna wanna see you again, I'm not going out with you. If I think you're lame, if I think you're, you know, like the 95%, if I think you're like sheep, if I think you're broke, like, it's, it just, it would be a no for me. You know what I mean? It, it would be a no for me. I am contemplating, I did finish, um, Calling in the One, the book, really good book. Highly recommend for anyone uh, who wants to align with love, love in general, and also romantic love. Uh, I am contemplating sharing what my experience has been like reading that book because it, it was a God-given book and, you know, dating has been going really well for me. That's what I'll share. <laughs> Uh, let me know if you have any questions about dating, dating tips, if there's something unique that you do on your dates to maximize your experience, um, make sure that you have fun or, you know, help you weed out some of the, the suckers who are broke, busted and disgusted. Okay. <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel. If you are enjoying this video, um, give this video a like and thank you for watching.